Today I'm going to try and help with some of the detail that it is worth worrying about. I've got a couple of little uh, extra helpers with me. I've got a plain white background cloth and I've got a green on my shoulder here hanging as close to vertical as I can and a black on this shoulder here. Don't worry if they don't look uh, completely perfectly vertical to you. What they're there for is to show black, white and green and whether I'm deviating, twisting or tilting more to one side or another. So for the purposes of, uh, of today's video, I'm going to make some illustrations uh, based on the idea that, uh, that I'm working like a mirror image of, uh, of somebody watching who's had a stroke and has got some very obvious difficulties with movement down the one side. So this is my right arm. It should look to you like a mirror of your left hand. Waving. So those are the those are the things to start with. It's a little bit of a detailed video, and, uh, and we are off script today, so there might be some little pauses. Just bear with me, if you will. So here we go. Um, I'm going to try and do a simple stand up uh, without deviating, and you can see hopefully that the gap, this side and this side, uh, is pretty equal and stays equal in the same way that the gap from this shoulder to the green and this shoulder to the black appeared uh, at the beginning of the film. So the idea is, uh, is that at home you can either use a, a camera built into your mobile phone placed on a simple stand uh, that you can take short films of yourself or family, relative, friend, can take short videos of you or of course you could use a mirror. Now I like the camera version better because you can go back over it several times and see if there are things that you've missed during one attempt. If you have to use a mirror just remember that all of these exercises are going to take large amounts of repetition so it just doesn't matter if on exercise number one you say, well, I'm going to look out for the tilt of my head and I'm going to do that for five times. And then after I've done five like that, I'm going to look to see if there's any twist of my shoulders or a little bit out of shot at the moment, but we'll see, uh, see an illustration of it, is uh, a little bit of pull back in one hip or the other. So you can take your time and build on your awareness of what your body does by doing large numbers of repetitions. That's one of the benefits of repetition. The other, of course, is that very simply, a muscle needs lots of attempts at an exercise to get stronger, work faster, relax more swiftly, <clears throat> and, uh, and to be able to work in a prolonged fashion, what you can call stamina. So here it is again, simple stand, and up we go. <clears throat> now I like stand up, sit down exercises. It's one of my favorites. It's useful, uh, but it's, uh, it's involving quite a lot of different muscles and different joints all working together hopefully harmoniously, uh, to produce what in health, of course, was a relatively effortless manoeuvre. Now, those of you that are having any difficulty at all with standing, some it will be just a bit difficult, and some uh, maybe it's still almost impossible for you, or you need physical help, uh, a carer or a family member to help you up. Uh, but whatever level you're working at, whether you're uh, just at the beginning of the process, towards the middle, 
or really fine tuning at the end. There'll be some useful things in here that you can use. Of course, the eagle-eyed amongst you will spot immediately that, uh, that I'm wearing different coloured socks. I just happen to do this every day of my working life. It helps people who've got difficulty in mirroring. I can not only draw attention to my right, which should look like your left leg. I can not only do that, but I can also say, watch my purple foot, watch my purple leg as I do things and try to copy it with your left leg. So here's the stand up again, and you should see that um, nicely between the black and the green. And as I do that, I go up and down very, uh, very straight. So I'm using an old blanket box uh, and hopefully I'm slap bang in the middle. Here's the, uh, the center of the panel. And you can see that uh, that ends up nice and evenly between my knees. So one of the, uh, one of the key things that we're trying to avoid is coming up over on one leg. So if this is the side that is most obviously affected by your, by your stroke, most of the people that, uh, that I've ever worked with will be favoring the leg that is so often named the good leg. So they'll come up to one side like so. And that does a couple of different things. Uh, one is makes this leg works much more strongly. Therefore, it must make the muscles on this side under much lower load. And if that's the case, they can never become as strong as the muscles on the side that are receiving the higher load and working with the higher load. So these are things that it's really worth working on to try to make things as equal as possible. So here I've got an angle shot just showing a little bit more of the pullback on my left side. Right hip is a little bit more forward so I can more easily get my weight over my right foot, load my right foot more, and stand up mostly on my right side. Thanks for watching. I hope it doesn't get too mixed up trying to sort out right from left. That's one of the things that comes under the category, don't worry about it. One of the things that, uh, that could happen, of course, is I'm human. I might have made some slightly inaccurate communication. I've done my best to get around that in some different ways. Uh, it's a low budget production, but uh, hopefully there is some useful stuff in there about how to make things a little bit more equal. Loading left and right leg, particularly when you're standing and going through the standing action, trying to get more equal activity out of left and right leg. And that means more equal strengthening, more equal stamina between left and right leg, more equal speed, more equal surge and acceleration to get through. If you've enjoyed the video today and think you might get something from it and more like it, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. If you hit the little uh, alarm bell sign then you'll get a, a, a little message when new ones go up. I'm hoping that's going to be about twice each week and there should be more work going forward. Hopefully for many people it'll appear roughly speaking in sequence the kind of things they might need to be doing. Thanks for watching the ship's video stroke videos. These videos are not intended to replace or constitute on their own medical advice. I really hope that you're working with a physiotherapist or if you're in America you'll call them the physical therapist or perhaps you're working with occupational therapists or other kind of helpful professional 
to go through your stroke exercise program. These videos I'm confident will line up pretty well with any program devised anywhere in the world and that you'll be able to uh, use the video as they're intended to be, which is as a prompt, a reminder to be able to join in to do some exercise in between your, uh, your guided sessions, whether those are in person or with somebody that you're working with remotely, uh, or whether you're simply following an exercise program left to you by uh, a hospital or community-based physiotherapy team.